He said they are cars. They are ministries. They are churches mm. who are still in the teach. They are in trouble. But the Lord is preparing the church for a go ahead. For the great revival that is coming. You see, there are pastors who have engaged themselves in witchcraft. They, they, they went into witchcraft because others said if you want your church to grow you must go to a witch doctor and give you authority to lead people and they went, there because, they went there because they were so desperate so they wanted money they saw that Jesus is delaying everything. So when they were there, they engaged themselves with the powers of darkness. They can't come out. Because if they come out, they are going to lose their churches. They are going to lose money. They are going to be in shame. So the church is ready. Ministries are ready. I saw trucks. Trucks. Vans. Private cars. Buses. Who are ready for the green light. But the Lord wants to deliver those people. Deliver those ministries. Deliver those pastors. And those leaders. Who are preaching Christ. Yet they are using the spirit of snake. They are preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. They even invite people into their churches so that they will come with the truth and set their people free because they can't set their people free because they are covenant with the enemy. They so, God is planning something. He's planning to deliver them. They want to discard all these things. They want to separate themselves from all these things. They have no strength to do it. Because they are afraid of losing everything. But the Lord has made a way. He has located them where they are. They are not far away for their help. They are not far away from their help. Jesus. Are you getting it, church? Are you getting it? They are in the ditch. And we are going to pull them out. Some of them. Some of them we will deliver the members of their ministries. When we deliver the members of their ministries, they will be automatically be delivered. I'm telling you, God has a way of dealing with people. So the church of God mustn't be stereotyped. We must be bold and be believers and show that we believe Jesus Christ and show that Jesus is alive. Jesus is not dead. He is alive. The witches and wizards, they know now that Jesus is God and Jesus has raised, he has raised his servants he is raising his people to stand up in boldness and speak to the firmament to, to speak to the air to speak to the firmament when they speak 
the word of God will come out and it will go direct and destroy what is supposed to be destroyed. Are you with me, church? God is doing something. God is still on business. God is still moving mountains. God is connecting bones to the bone. God is networking his servants. God is pulling his people out of the pits. God is connecting his servants. Let me tell you, Elijah cried. Elijah cried. He said, I am alone. Left. But Jehovah said, You are not alone. Those who are in witchcraft, under the spell of Jezebel, they are there. They are going to be freed. Let me tell you, church, it is another season. We are ready for the robots to go green. It's on red by now. It is on red by now. And we are pulling those who are working for the devil. The devil doesn't know a thing. Why, why I'm saying this? It's because all things work together for the good. There, there are plans that the devil has for 21st century. I'm a planning for, I'm a the, 21st plans for the 21st century. So he has revealed to these people because now they are in charge of some of the covens Covens in the house of Conzella. In the house of Conzella. Where they meet as the workers of darkness. I remember one day. I saw some under the sea. They were sitting in the table. With the snake. People I know. In this area. Powerful, influential people. But they were sitting with the snake. Having plans with the snake. And I was standing on the mountain with Jesus. Christ. And Jesus see my son. What they are doing. And we zoom in, we saw everything, we had everything. People I know. I, when I say I know, I meet them. I speak with them, I greet them. But they have a covenant with the snake. And I want you to say, Jesus, please allow me to go and speak to them and show myself to them. And I came close and said, Oh, okay. guy. And they say hi. So I say, what makes you to be here? And I said, what makes you to be here? And they say there are some difficulties that we have. And I said, I have no difficulties. You know, I said to them, I've come for you. But before I set you free, I must kill your boss. Kill the boss. I must kill your boss. It was a big, huge snake I've never seen. A great dragon. It was moving upon the table. Licking them upon the table. Licking them. And I say, guys, I know what you are doing. And I understand. And I said, I've been called for this. I will come for you. But first, I have to deal with the snake. 